What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage, and yeah, we are back at uh, Copart here in Las Vegas, getting another Copart walk around. Let's uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, how about we start things with a Mustang? No, I'm just kidding. How about we look at a, a Dodge Challenger? We got a couple of them up here, uh, theft recoveries, shocker. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can protect your car, but I'm also gonna talk about how easy these are to be stolen. All right, guys, so this is a Dodge Challenger RT, which you guys can see here, year, is 2020 20,173 miles it is the regular 5.7 hemi with the i call these the food stamp seats because they don't have any kind of decent um alcantara or anything like that, like that on them Ugh. but as you can see another theft recovery and this one is not as bad as you would expect you know there's no busted windows no real damage on it it's got the nice orange color to it all right so decent on the theft recovery on this one not completely dogged out my orange color kind of pops on these i like these on the chargers and on the challengers and directly next to it, we have a gray one. Now, I'm gonna guess food stamp challenger. I don't see any badges. I could be wrong. I'm trying to look at the wheel offsets. It could have a V8. Well, look, it's got the broken rear window, typical sign of what you see with people that are stealing these. The wheels are missing. It's got generic steel wheels on it. Um, so it could be an RT. It could be a 5.7, I'm guessing, but it definitely, no, it ain't, it ain't no 5.7. It is not a 5.7. This is the uh, base, 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 base model with 38,000 miles on it. And it is also a 2020, been sitting for a while, obviously. Keys are present, food stamp seats, 160 on the dash. It does have the Alpine sound system, though, so maybe not completely a base model. Let's look under the hood. I just want to see it from my own my own uh, verification on whether or not this is a, a cheap cheap food stamp model or not. Yeah, I figured three point six. I figured. Just by seeing, there's a couple of different signs you can tell by the front and whatnot on these, whether or not they're, they are that way, but yeah. It's got some Invisimark stuff here, that's cool. It's supposed to help with theft, but we all know how that goes when it comes to Mopars. You have to go to destroyer1320.com if you really want to protect these. I've done videos on these multiple times before, and I'll probably do a dedicated one on how easy these can be stolen. Next, yeah, you already knew. Look at this BMW. Beautiful, this M3. 156,000 miles. 156, 986 on the clock on this one. Adult supervision is recommended. That sticker's dope. Look how beautiful this thing is. Ouch. Fixable, suspension-wise, sure. Body-wise, is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, a door, and then you'd have to work that panel. I just don't know if it's worth it. I just don't know if it's worth it. Damn, because otherwise, this thing is like, I love this blue. Like, this would be the only other color I, outside of the green that I would want the Petty Roosevelt, is this M3, this iconic blue color. It's just absolutely beautiful. 
huh? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Oof, that Tesla had a bad day. Oh. I know you guys always ask me about bikes and stuff, and they are out here, and I am going to do a full dedicated walk around with nothing but bikes. You guys can expect to see that here very soon because there are a lot of very nice bikes just chilling. And as you can see, literally Harleys for days, KTMs, I mean, full trike, Hondas, and more absolutely some beautiful bikes out here so stay tuned for that how about a ford f-350 that has probably seen better days this went from storage directly to auction as you guys can see on this wow look fine from the other side right it's not until you get to yeah that axle looks like it's got independent rear steering <laughs> got that independent rear steering wow ridiculous absolutely ridiculous Ugh. don't know if, I mean I'm sure it's fixable some cab corner work door bed leaf springs lots of suspension rear axle I just don't know if it's worth it all right, we're gonna keep walking, see what we can find. Ooh, I don't know why you'd want a 2.3 liter badge on that, but okay. That one was smashed. We got a Titan and we got a Ram. I like both of these. All right, guys, this is a Ram 1500 with the 5.7 liter, 173 on the clock. Now, one of the things I like to show people with these is like I do with the Dodges, with the Challengers and the Chargers, um, and it's imperative why I keep promoting and pushing Destroyer1320.com is because, do you see this right here? Does that look familiar to you? Do you know what this does? That is a neutral strap. So, they don't need your keys. It's very easy to program. Now, even though this one has an actual key, like the old school Mopars, you know, they can get a key cut or they can just take out the ignition. But if they want to go away quietly, they literally can just pull this neutral strap right here and then tow away your vehicle. Just push it down the road. Because there's no lock, no locking system, if you didn't know, on most Dodge, Ram, Jeep, whatever products. It's just an open steering column. That's one of the major problems. But, um, yeah. Always uh, look for that. Check out Destroyer1320.com. They actually have a solution for this to keep your RAM from getting stolen. Overall, this thing doesn't look terribly bad. Shocker, it is a theft recovery. Um, big horn, 4x4. Ooh, not only is it a theft recovery, it's been hit back here on the rear corner, as you guys can see here. Not terrible. It's definitely repairable. It's just if it's worth it to you. I think a 5.7 is worth a rebuild, but that's me. I swear I wasn't trying to make this an all Mopar video, but it looks like that's the direction we're going as we have a uh, another Challenger here, 28,000 miles, entire rear quarter. It's got to be a food stamp edition. You can see the wheels. 28,665 on the clock. Oh, airbags busted everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to say not even waste my time on it. That is pretty much, <laughs> pretty much a wrap. All right, guys. We'll walk this way, see if we see anything else on the way out. Just wanted to get you guys a quick walk around in today because I was out here to do an anti-theft video. Uh, and while I was here, I was like, I don't want to waste the time. I might as well get a good video in, right? Look at this Infinity smashed. Oof. Toasty Altima. All right. The wind is blowing. Ugh. Ouch to the ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh. Mustang with the Ferrari taillights. I don't understand that. I mean, I guess that's a thing. People enjoy them. I think it looks goofy. That's just me. 49,000 miles, typical Mustang behavior, shirts, run into a couple of crowds, 
but there it is. All right, guys, not a long video, just a short one. Uh, just wanted to get in with you guys today and give you guys a brief walk around and show you guys some of the interesting vehicles that were out here that are coming up this week. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I am going to be doing more uh, walk arounds this week, all new content, no old stuff, brand new stuff coming. Let me know what you guys think in that uh, comment section down below and uh, stay tuned. If you guys want to see more trucks or more cars or more Mopars or whatever, let me know in the comments. See you guys on the next one. Peace.